Hello everyone, I'm Anish and welcome to my channel. So today we'll solve this interesting question on capacitors, right? So uh, basically what this question is asking us to find is the voltage across this capacitance. If a 5 volt voltage is applied at t equals to 0, so what will be the uh, voltage across this capacitance, right? So uh, for that, what you have to do is like uh, first uh, draw the circuit for t equals to 0 and what is happening. So I mean, let me take the circuit, right? Let me take the circuit. Okay, so basically, the switch is off, right? At t equals to zero, switch off. Now, what will happen is this battery will supply some charge and in instantly charge these all these combination of capacitors, right? So let's say this battery supplies q amount of charge, right? Now, some will be divided in the parallel combination, right? So this will be let's say q1 and q2, and then this charge again it's getting added to q1 plus q2 which is q1 only, right so whatever charge is leaving the positive terminal of this battery should come into the negative terminal of this battery right so now like uh, let's uh, write the charge conservation equations right so one thing we know that the voltage across this and this should be same right voltage across this and this should be same so uh, we can relate the charges between them so basically this charge in the like vc1 right let's let me name this as uh, this as C1, this as C2, and this as C3. So Vc1 should be equal to Vc2. So uh, how will we relate it with charge? Basically, what is Vc1 equals to Q1 by C1, right? So Q1 by C1 should be equal to Q2 by C2. So we can see the charge is directly proportional to the ratios of the capacitances. So uh, basically Q1 by K2 will be C1 by C2. So it is 3 by 1. Okay. So it is like Q1 equals to 3 Q2. Now what we can do is then write the KVL, right? KVL across this whole loop. Okay. From there we can find the value of Q, right? So yeah, let me write the uh, KVL. So one more thing before that, that uh, like what is q1 plus q2 so that i can relate it with uh, the overall charge q so q1 is 3 q2 so q2 is q by 4 okay q by 4 okay and q1 is 3 q by 4 okay so yeah, this these are the relations now let me like uh, write the kvl equation so if i write the kvl equation right this whole 5 volts will be simply either right this voltage or this voltage whatever suits you so i will write the upper one voltage so what will the upper one voltage it will be basically q1 by c1 right plus uh, this is q by c3 right q by c3 so now like uh, what is this q1 so q1 equals to simply uh, 3q by 4 right 3q by 4 3q by 4 and what is this c1 so c1 is 3 micro so just be careful about the uh, units right so i will write this with micro then i will assume that charge is also in micro so micro and micro will get cancelled out so i will not write micro here i will assume that charge whatever we are getting is in micro only so this is q and c3 is 4 right so yeah what does happen here so q becomes 10 micro coulomb right Q is 10 micro coulomb. Now what is V3? Again V3 is simply Q by C3. It is 10 micro coulomb by 4 basically. So it is 2.5 okay. 2.5 volts on 2.5 volts on okay. So yeah, this is basically what uh, uh, V3 is. So this is the answer for this question. Can we like solve this in any other method? Uh, we can what we can do is simply find the equivalent capacitance and then find the voltage drop without any charge calculation right that will be much much more easier okay so what we can do this is the uh, method one charge using only charge right charges now what will be the method two basically
u well capacitance right so this will be the uh, method 2 okay so uh, let me again take the circuit so this is the circuit what i will do this time is simply like convert this circuit right into equivalent capacitance so this is a parallel combination of 3 and 1 right so this will become 4 micro so if i just convert this right Four micro. So yeah. Now like simply from here we can observe only that the voltage will get simply divided according to voltage division as equal impedances between these two. So it will simply be plus minus 2.5 volts and plus minus 2.5 volts. And from here you can directly uh, get the answer. Or if you don't want to do, just do this simply. Again find the charge. From there you find the voltage. What you'll do is simply convert this right. The series combination is two microfarad only okay this is plus minus 5 volts only okay so what will be the voltage across 5 right 5 volts so what is the charge what is the charge so q should be equals to simply this is the q right same q is fine so q should be equals to basically uh, this uh, cv right so it should be 2 micro times 5 so it is 10 micro coulombs right again you got the charge right now what will do simply divide that with the capacitance and you get the voltage v3 so v3 will be q by c3 so it is basically 10 micro divided by 4 okay not micro micro coulomb divided by 4 micro farad so again we get our desired answer which is 2.5 volts so this is how you can solve this question okay? thank you for watching